Hey guys, it's me, the MC36 Chair, coming at you with another video, and another video inside of our Toronto FC Road to Glory. If you haven't already seen episodes 1 and 2, I'd recommend seeing those before watching this video. But if you don't, then that means you're a gangster, and that means I like you, so... Honestly, I don't care. In the last episode, we didn't actually get any youth players, as we did get our first youth scout report back our first youth scout reports back and today we are starting off by playing our first game of the season this Hi, will be at the Broadfield Stadium against Crawley and Town and it actually still shows that we're a Canadian team even though we've moved to um, England for this so that's cool I guess I want to see when we go up against teams like the Whitecaps and Montreal Impact if we if they're also considered Canadian, because from what I know, after playing Girona, it considered them English, so I'm not sure. When it comes to Crawley Town, I don't know anyone in that starting lineup. To be fair, I don't know any Crawley Town players. I don't really know any League 2 players either. The only one I know is Akin Fenwa. So, yeah, that's good, I guess. And, anyways, let's get straight into this game. At the Broadfield Stadium, this first our lineup with Clint lineup Irwin, Mr. Again, Ortho, um, I can't up. read for some reason, more Ukamakano, Moro, Bradley, Vasquez, yeah, if I'm right, and, uh, with Cooper, Delgado, Altidore, really and Gio Binko. So, uh, and we're going to get straight into down. this game, and they have the kickoff, and you'll see the goals. There is our first goal, I'm sorry my voice sucks when it comes to commentating something that I'm not doing at the same time as making commentary. So that was a good first goal by Josie Altidore. And pretty easy goal from what it looks like. You watch this replay, he just runs in, slides it past the keeper, hits off the post and into the back of the net. First goal for Josie Altidore. So the first goal, it's 1-0. And here we are again, and deflection, okay, it's a corner, I'm really bad at defending corners, what can we do here, okay, I can't out, right, no, oh, where are our players, our defense is all just in one ball, don't let them get the shot in, okay, wait, no, was that Upa Meccano, oh, okay, I don't know how Clint Irwin didn't save that. If that even is Clint Irwin, that could be Alex Bono too. It was one of the two. How didn't you save that? I mean, the defense is completely shamed right there. But the keeper didn't do anything. Look at the shot. I mean, just like why do they? It's like they trip over themselves. Not a very good goal to concede. And I guess that does make it one-one. And we have another chance in, and there we go, goal, I think it's Josie Altidore. Is that Josie Altidore? Probably is. Let's just say it's Josie Altidore running over, yeah, that's Josie, he's number 17. Over to Jean, Jean Pierre, here we go. And there we go, what a great goal by Altidore there to get us back in this game. The score is now 2-1. I want to see the replay of that goal. Well, and just ran straight through. He took it nice in pass in. Style, I think that was like Geo. And just great finish. Now it is 2 1 to Toronto. And come on, Rit. Okay. The ref blew the whistle, guys. That is the there end is the of the first whistle. game of the episode. We don't do, like, best player that yet. I plan on doing that in Season 2, like I said. I'm sorry for this horrible commentating. I mean, usually you have so much more emotion when you're actually in the game, and, you know, this is a voiceover. But two goals for Josie Altidore, a couple of shots. And overall, a pretty good game for him. If we were doing player of the episode, he would definitely be the player of the episode. But player of the episode will not come till Season 2. And that was a pretty good first game of the season. That was the first game, right? Either way, a win at Broadview, Broadfield, sorry, Stadium, 
which did, did take us to the victory. Josie outstored both goals. Clint Irwin didn't really do too well there in that game. But I guess it's fine. I mean, we still did end up winning. So, yeah, that's all I've got. By the way, if you're still watching, comment hashtag youth in the comments section. I'm not going to tell you what you will get if you say that. Just just comment it. Stevenage, one, so, County, now we're going to simulate this next game against Cambridge United. I don't think we're actually going to play it because um, fitness reasons and I just don't want to. Transfer offer for... Okay, uh, Morgan wants to play. Transfer offer for Josie Altador. This comes in from Stoke City. 76 rated Josie Altador. Um, I am going to, I think... Delegate it because I think he's worth way more than they're offering. I at least want a solid chunk of money if we are going to get rid of the player. And this is the part where I make the dumb mistake, or you'll see the dumb mistake later, which did was a really horrible mistake. Let's just say that. But, anyways, going into the team sheet for this game, we will put um, Ricketts. He could play strikers, so. Ricketts and Cam will put Raheem Edwards on the left and Gio will keep at striker and that will be fine for the next game against Cambridge United in the Carabao Cup or what used to be the EFL Cup and what some people call the League Cup. It really depends on who you are and how you say what it is. Although I like calling it by the actual competition name so Carabao Cup for me. And let's get straight into the simulation. If we could win, get ourselves the next round of the Carabao Cup, that would be amazing. Okay. There we go. Um, that was Gio, right? It was Sebastian Giovinco. Our first goal of the game. If we could just hold this, maybe extend our lead, just don't concede. And there we go, Gio with another one. And still, and then Vasquez with another right before going off. And I think that's it. Yeah, it's game. 3 0 Toronto FC, 2 for Geo, 1 for Vasquez. Pretty Cup. good game. And our next Houston game Stanley, is against nil. the Wickham Wamberers. And Chelsea Aston making Villa, that signing one. over there. I Scunthorpe didn't really United, read two. that was in time. Extra time. And Birmingham City. We'll give one. some training to Sheffield Mr. Wednesday. Hervé one. Richard. City. One, five, Hervé four. Richard. One I don't know how to Blackburn say his name. He's French. Two. And again, United. I'm Canadian, one. so we After do learn time. French. So I Brentford should know how two. to say his name. Hervé Richard. But we'll call him that. One. You have to put that Blackboard accent on the end. Because it's not one. Harvey Richard. Swindon Although town. in English, one. it would be pronounced Swindon Harvey town. Richard. Hervé is probably Harvey. So... City, we'll just give one. those guys some training. Two, Richard, yeah. we want him to get to a Coventry higher rating United, two, so we could take him out of the Youth H, Academy yeah. and maybe he'll be one of our Coventry first City, graduates. One, Who knows? Two, maybe he time. will be released. Doncaster and Rovers, I sort of want to just get as far as we can because I do want to Girona, three, get more youth Barnett, players, yeah. which means I do need more youth Montreal Impact, for, for scout Nil, reports. City, so for Ray Richard with... He doesn't really have a two, bad potential. Ready, it's not one, amazing, but it's not bad. Two, potential of one. a maximum 94, Forest, but three, sure, all the players have a maximum one. 94. And Claudio Marchisio. County, one, I mean, I'm pretty sure Marchisio is like 35, but, you know, Chelsea, if you want to buy him, go, go ahead. It's not up to me. And transfer offer for Alex Bono, as well as Josie Outstore wants to play. Alex Bono, he's a player who I'm okay if he leaves. He's not too highly rated, only 67, not even a 70. And Clint Irwin, still better than him. And I don't think we need him. So anyways, let's just quickly get this team sheet ready so we can get into this game. And Josie Altsdor will play in the cam role. Here against the Wickham Wamberers. So let's get into this game against Wickham. And we're here at the BMO Field or our home stadium. 
So I had to create. By the way, I had to create all of the stadiums to all of the English clubs as well as the clubs we got into the league. So that took about two hours. So make sure to go smash that like button just because of that. But anyways, Michael Bradley is our captain of this uh, game. We have Clint Irwin. We have Mr. Ortho. I'm pretty sure we'll have Drew Moore as well as Daya Utkano. We should have Justin. Moro, uh, Vasquez, and Bradley, and then we should have, I think it's Delgado and it's Edwards, in this lineup. yeah, About Delgado and Edwards, the and then Altidore so and Giovinco as our well, starting a lineup, energy, hopefully, the thing I've noticed when playing up. in this formation really is that my striker always down. is more of a false nine, like drops back, and then lets the cam score the goals. That's why later on in the season, I'm pretty sure we actually changed Geo to the cam position. Here's our first goal of the game. Nice goal there from Josie Alstor to make it 1 0. And his celebration, what, what did he do? Oh, yeah. I love that celebration. Favorite one, one of the favorite, one of my favorites in the game. Another one is one of those, the celebration where you all crowd together and do that dance. It's. Also, this sort of cool. But anyways, an like I said, a great to goal to make it 1-0. Yeah. Well, and the third goal for Josie Altidore in this episode. Uh, and they do come back, though, with another one with a horrible Super mistake inside. off of Clint Irwin. Inside. He makes the dive, cannot stop the ball, and no defenders in the way. Letting them equalize, which... Like, just look at this mistake. I blame Clint Irwin and also sort of, I think it's Daya Utmakana who didn't jump in the way of the shot. And Craig Mikhail Smith with the goal. And here we go, making a run up the wing with Justin Morrow. Morrow goes back, get, gets it over to Osorio. Osorio head back as well, straight into Vasquez, who basically had nothing in the way of him and takes this shot to get himself a goal, making it 2-1 to Toronto in the late minutes of the game. Victor Vasquez did amazing there to get that goal, and Moro and Osorio also had a ginormous role in that attack. One, had, one did one of those spins past the other, who did another spin who passed to Vasquez, who did ping the ball into the back of the net. And what a goal for the balding Spaniard and that is the end of the match it ends 2-1 here at BMO field pretty good game I believe and just like the other game we do concede one so we're obviously seeing either defensive issues or issues with the keeper and I do think it's more Clint Irwin's fault but I don't 100% blame him because the defense was also not very good, to be fair. Although, there were a bunch of saves he honestly should have made, but he couldn't. Which, like, when you're playing against players who are like 40 rated, you should be. And that was the mistake we actually made. I didn't know how the transfer system worked, which means I didn't hit the accept agreement, which means he ended up not moving to Stoke City because I didn't hit the, um, accept to the terms, so, unfortunately, we did have to keep Josie Altador, I mean, that's, I don't know why I'm saying unfortunately, that was good, but, you know, like, I wish he left just so that we wouldn't have to worry about him currently, and Marky Delgado, a good player, we will counter this. I mean, sorry, not counter, it's no longer counter, it's either accept, reject, negotiate, or delegate. And I delegate most of the times because I don't want to actually get into a whole, um, like, one of those, uh, what's it called? The animated things, or, I forget what it's called, but whatever it was called. Yeah, I forget what they're called. Anyways, Alex Bono sold, I'm pretty sure, to Bristol City, if I'm right. If I remember correctly, from about 10 minutes ago. And next, we have this game against Chesterfield and Forest Green, as you see there. Secure a signing. What other breaking news do we have? Um, some guy. 
and someone lost. Lincoln City defeated. I mean, they are new to the league. And let's get what am I even looking for? Oh, the youth squad. Hervé Richard. I don't know if he's ready to come out yet. Maybe. Um. I don't know. I think we'll keep him in the youth system for now. I want him to grow in overall a little bit. So that by the time he gets out. Only a couple of games and he'll probably be a 60 rated. But anyways getting into this. We're simming this game against Chesterfield. I don't know what's, what their stadium name is or whatever. All I know is that. I don't know anyone on that team. Anyways, there we go, Giovinco with the first goal of the game, away from home. Are we going to keep the clean sheet that, this game? That is the one thing I'm wondering. And simming to the end, 2-1 win. Moro does get us the win. I think that was in the 65th minute, if I'm right. So, pretty good again. Uh, but again, conceding the goal. So far, Clint Irwin with no clean sheets. And Josie United Altador, two, as I said, Chatham it was retracted nil. because we took too long. And honestly, I don't think I would have ever remembered. Two. We actually had to have Obviously another game one, against Chesterfield for the Carabao Blood Cup. Two, so Barnett, let's one. start simming Girona, to four, that game Swindon. right now. And Chesterfield, hopefully we can get another win against them. And what do we have? Uh, oh, agreement for Marky Delgado's sale. Okay, so this is where I actually found out you have to hit the accept button. So, I'm pretty sure. Then I accepted it. So what it looks like, he will be joining Bolton unless uh, contract negotiations don't go well between them. But from what it looks like, he will be joining Bolton. And we do have a game against Bristol soon, which means he probably would, will be playing against Alex Bono there. Unless he's not the starting keeper. And transfer offer for Drew Moore. And this is by Leeds United. And I accept the offer from Leeds. Um, championship side, you actually want an American. Okay. And we're going to go back in this game, or another game against Chesterfield. This one at the BMO Field in the Carabao Cup. And I actually know how the Carabao Cup ends up with us. Because, like I said in the last episode, but at the time... Of this voice recording, I am actually on episode, Burnley, like, three, I don't know, Doncaster I think Rovers, I just recorded nil. episode 13, Albion, so, Rovers, I'm two. pretty far ahead and I do know Fleet what happens, nil. I'm not gonna nil, spoil anything, one. don't worry, town, but let's get two. into this Girona, training, one. with Hervé Richard's two. basically gonna take Cardiff most of the training one. spots, because Espanol, I want him to one. be really high rated, Leicester but City, I also don't want to overtrain him. Rochdale, I don't know one, if, I know it was United, not two, really 100% possible to overtrain someone in FIFA Swindon 17, town, three, but the thing is, I don't want them Forest, to have horrible two, physical stats in that, time. so that's why Toronto, I'm not going to try to uh, push them too one. hard, and we'll give another one to Ordenzola probably, and Mr. Orthodontist and Hervé Richard getting their training, no one going up, Richard getting a little closer, and maybe in the next episode, or in a couple episodes, we'll take him out of the youth system. If I take him out, I either mean sign him or release him. I still don't know what we're going to do. And transfer offer for Clint Irwin. Now, um, I think we're going to reject this offer since we do not have a backup keeper. Actually, I do think we have one backup keeper. But I don't really want to use him because I'm pretty sure he's like a 50 rated... And I don't think I want to use a 50 rated... Oh, wait, no, this isn't Bristol. This is Crew Alexandra. How did I fail reading the, um, I mean, looking at badges? And the Bolvia FA, we are going to say no to, unfortunately, because, honestly, we don't need a national job yet. There's only one job I'll take, and you'll see when I get it, if I get it. And Toronto FC versus Crew Alexandra, 2 on win, Geo and Altidore at the goals, again, another goal conceded, and again, no clean sheets for Alex, English I mean, Clint team. Irwin Barnett, two. in this league. Stevenage, two. And Marky Delgado is, has City, officially nil. been sold to whatever team Newport that was, County, I forget, Luton Town on top of one. the league, 
apparently. Girona not doing bad either, right behind one. us. Swindon and, two. oh, it's Bolton. Okay, he's at Bolton now. Toronto FC two. So maybe Crew eventually Alexander we'll go one. up against some of the guys we sell in the league. Coventry City. In other leagues, of course. So what do those because I'm pretty sure we haven't actually sold any of them to League 4 teams. League 2, sorry. Teams yet. And transfer third, offer for Jordan Girona Hamilton and Drew points. Moore has been sold. Fourth, City so I'm pretty sure um, in fifth, he's been sold. We have Mzinga, we have a couple other players. In sixth, and we'll actually accept United that offer since it is points. pretty in good seven, money for a player who I didn't expect to even get a million out of. But let's... I guess table, you might as well just with one point. go through all of this. Because I don't think we're going to get any last-minute offers. Maybe we'll see a player be sold or something. But And transfer offer for Nick Hugl Hugland. Hugland? Yeah. Um, 1.4 mil. We'll accept that. And just to get as many players out of the club as we can. And we've already brought in two in. And I think the rule I've made is that we have, we are allowed to have only two players who aren't youth players at a time. And, um, I'm trying to say this without, uh, again, not spoiling too much. Jordan Hamilton sold another transfer offer for Nick. We'll just call him Nick for now. And SM Kane. Now, we aren't allowed to, um... We aren't allowed to say anything about uh, t to them because we said yes to the other team. Well, I'm pretty sure he does end up going to SMK if I'm right. Yeah, exactly. Um, the thing, it broke down there. And a transfer offer from Watford for well, Altidore. We rejected that, as you just saw. And we're just going to keep going for uh, this. Sorry, I had notification I had to check. And four hours to go. Transfer offer. Um, yeah, they retracted. I forgot to get back to them, unfortunately. And three hours to go. And from what it looks like, nothing else. Ocampos went to whatever team that was. Coutinho went to Bayern Munich. There's that Nathaniel Klein. And one hour to go on the transfer market. And that's basically it. And we actually... You have a couple messages. I'm pretty sure if I'm right. Uh, yeah. Um, youth squad monthly report. And we'll look at that. And her very short. I'm pretty. Oh, his overall went down slightly. But his. I mean, his potential overall went down slightly. But his actual overall is getting better. A training injury for Raheem Edwards. I don't want to go to any of those. Transfer offer for Jay Chapman. So the day after the transfer window, you're already sending me something for him to leave during the winter. Okay. And it's the... What? What team was that? The Mariners or something? I've never heard of that team. What? Sent now, was, did that just say like Central Coast or something? That sounds like it's an American basketball team or something. I don't know. We'll find out later. Uh, Kevin Murphy back with his. You're gonna say no to Jarrah, no to him, no to him, and no one. He didn't bring back anyone good. Um, Jay Walsh, uh, Shakir Abubakar. Huh. Who else do we have? Uh, some other guy. I think we're gonna reject him. We'll reject that guy. We'll keep looking at him. And we will reject him. And 64 to 90. I don't know if that's... It's not really good. Shakir Abubakar at least is 71 at minimum. So we'll sign Shakir up. And Maxime Corbet. We have Arthur Ferrier. Okay, he doesn't look bad. And Stefan Ferrier is right next to him. I just noticed that. The other Ferrier will not say yes to him. Nicholas Vigne. 74 to 94. Damien Castell. He's a keeper. That's that's good. Only 67 plus though. Um, Patrice Roche. We'll sign him up. 
Ludovic Bernard, 83 to 94. That's not bad. We'll take him. Laurent Valet. Oh, and Jonathan Valet. Why are they all beside each other? Two Ferriers and two Valets. I'm not sure. I think we'll keep looking at those guys. But anyways, this is about the end of the video. So these are all of our youth players that we have at the moment in the club. We may get some of them later. Anyways, thanks for watching. Make sure to smash that like button. Subscribe. You get to look at this for a couple more seconds. But I have to say bye now. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.